Hi everyone, Morgan here. More often than not, I always hear people tell me I'm feeling so overwhelmed. I don't understand, you know, how to continue uh, prepping. I don't understand when there's going to be an end point. That's the kicker right there. I think people are expecting that at some point you're just going to be done with prepping. But let me ask you this. Are you ever going to be done eating? Are you ever going to be done drinking? The only time these things will cease to happen is if you're six feet under the ground. Until then, I highly recommend continuing to stay consistent with preparedness. And it sounds overwhelming, like I'm just going to be doing this the rest of my life. But let's think about it. Like if you're consistently rotating your food, right? If you're consistently just like picking up a book every once in a while, learning a new skill, if you're consistently, you know, um, buying food and rotating it and storing and, you know, rotating your water, it just becomes a habit, right? It's just, okay, I got this food. I'm going to rotate it every year or, you know, just throughout my life because I store what I eat, right? Um, I have this water. And so every year I'm going to use it every six months to a year, I guess I'm going to use it in my garden or I'm going to use it in my cooking or I'm going to consume it or whatever the case may be. Hey, I have this empty water bottle. I'm going to fill it with water and put it in the freezer. Hey, um, I'm growing some food. So I'm going to learn how to preserve it. Hey, I'm learning to grow food, <laughs> right? Like there's all of these things and some of them definitely take more effort than others. I think when it comes to prepping, a lot of people don't realize that almost everything has to do with preparedness, security, homesteading, um, you know, growing food, raising your own animals, all these things encompass preparedness, learning natural medicine. I'm looking around at my books. And I'm like, what else can I say? But everything encompasses preparedness and everybody has their why right? What is your why? What is your why for wanting to be prepared? Is it to make sure that you and your family are secure no matter what happens? Is it because you went through a natural disaster and you said, gosh, I don't want to do that again unprepared, right? Um, is it because you just maybe have some trust issues with some certain people uh, <laughs> and you just want to make sure that you are fully prepared, right? You want to make sure that no matter what happens in any scenario, even if it's zombies, the you know, the end of the world catastrophe, right? Modern conveniences are gone. We're living in, you know, the the desert because that's where all apocalyptic movies happen in the desert, right? So my point is, um no matter what you're planning for or what you're prepping for, none of it is a wrong reason, okay? What we have to think about is um, sticking to that why. And your why can change, right? Like my why started because I just felt really empowered knowing that I had all this food. And then my why changed a little bit from when I had kids. I was like, okay, well now I have these other people to, to protect and to make sure that they're fed and I have a larger responsibility now. And then it has morphed into, I don't want to be reliant on anyone else except like maybe in like a few mile radius of me. Right. And not even responsible, but just like being in a community of those few mile radius and like all helping each other kind of thing. But even that, you know, I don't ever want to have to be reliant on anyone if I don't have to. And, but in saying that, I also understand the incredible importance of preparedness uh, and community is what I meant to say. I understand the incredible importance of preparedness, but I understand the importance of community and how we can all work together towards a common goal as well. I can trade my quail eggs for my uh, neighbor's fish, right? Uh, that is literally um, happening right now. So anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's working together, but it's also realizing that you know, you want to be as self-reliant as possible within your localized community. Okay. Finding the local farms, finding your local neighbors and things like that, that, um, you know, you, you can be friends with. Preparedness is a lifestyle. It, it really is. You know, you can't look at it as when am I going to get to the end? It's a, it's a lifestyle. You will always be prepping a little bit every single day. I have a blog post down below about a hundred plus ideas that you could do every single day. Just little tiny things that you can do just one thing a day to stay consistent and prepared. And then some things are going to take longer. You know what I mean? Some things like, you know, starting a garden or learning tinctures or whatever the case may be, you're going to maybe spend a little bit more effort on these things. Maybe you'll spend several days, several weeks learning these things, whatever the case may be, right? 
but it's like dry fire training, you know, all of these things are kind of like precious skills, you know, even prepping, you know, you can get out of the habit. Okay. You really can. Um, you forget to buy extra stuff at the store. You forget this stuff, but if you stay consistent, consistency is the key to life, my friends. Okay. Consistency is the key without consistency. It all falls apart. I mean, literally, like I, I've been doing um, pull-ups every single day. I started with like barely being able to do one in a month. I'm able to do three because every single day I went to that pull-up bar and I did, you know, I tried my best every single day. And within a month, now I'm able to do three pull-ups. I do 10 push-ups every single day. Every single day I'm reading a blog or I'm watching a YouTube video or I'm reading my books or I'm printing recipes or I'm, um, you know, charging something, or I'm trying a new piece of gear, or I'm, um, you know, starting some new tinctures. <laughs> I'm really big into tinctures, and my next video that I'm going to have coming out is about tinctures, so I'm like in that mindset. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage you guys, okay? Consistency, lifestyle, there is no end point. This is part of your life. Once you get into that mindset, everything will change and lock into place for you. I guarantee it. Don't look at it as, a, as an end point. There are some days you're still gonna get overwhelmed and that's okay to just take a break, go for a swim or dive into some snow, whatever the season may be for you. And uh, just, just keep enjoying life because as much as we prepare, I still want us to just keep enjoying life because that's what it's all about. We're preparing so that we can live a comfortable, happy life without having any worries. I have very little worries because I know I'm prepared because I know that I can take care of my family in, in dire situations. So keep following along on my channel. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, put them in the comments or reach out to me on my website. Please visit my website and join my YouTube members where I have exclusive content just for them, where it's a top of the week and you get free stickers. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.